Thank you, Mr. Chair and, and uh, Ranking Member. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about this important legislation. Millions of Americans experience mental health issues and struggle to find ad adequate care. We all agree on that in this chamber. This is especially true among, among our nation's youth, due in large part to the prolonged school closures championed by uh, the Democrats. Republicans have continually stressed the mental health toll students have shouldered because of these school closures. The closures were led by Democrats in Democrat-run state, states and, who are allies of the teachers' unions. That is why I've also introduced H.R. 787, the Expanding Student Access to Mental Health Services Act, which would authorize state and local educational agencies to use student support and academic en enrichment grants to improve mental health services available to students by allowing funds to be used for identifying and uh, disseminating best practices for mental health first aid, emergency planning, coordination of services, and telehealth services. I would have loved to introduce this bill as an amendment to, uh, I would have loved to introduce this bill as an amendment to H.R. 7780, but unfortunately the Democrats did not allow any amendments to this legislation on the floor today. Rather than working in a bipartisan manner to reform our current uh, mental health care systems, Democrats are pushing a bill that will punish employers for offering mental health benefits to their employees and incite brass litigation against benefit plan sponsors. Let me repeat, Democrats are pushing a bill that will punish employers for offering mental health benefits to their employees and incite brash litigation against benefit plan sponsors. To add insult to injury, H.R. 7780 recklessly spends $275 million taxpayer dollars under the guise of mental health parity enforcement but the Department of Labor hasn't even clarified what mental health par parity means. So, let's, so we're going to pass it and then figure out what it means. We've heard that before. How can it be enforced if no one understands what is and how can we authorize this funding without vetting how it will be spent? Additionally, H.R. 7780 prohibits arbitration clauses, class action waivers, and discretionary clauses from employee benefit plans under the employee Retirement Income Security Act, known as ERISA. In short, this bill will only benefit trial lawyers and will lead to a reduction in mental health benefits as employers will have to divert money to pay attorney's fees. This is precisely why I tried to submit an amendment to the bill on the floor today, almost the same amendment I offered during the markup of the, in the Education and Labor Committee, which the Democrats failed to pass. My proposed amendment would have made the Department of Labor's ability to bring civil action against ERISA plans offering mental health benefits conditional on the department issuing additional guidance on these vague mental health party requirements, or parity requirements. I would also strike the $275 million in funding that has been allocated to the Department of Labor. But again, Democrats blocked our ability to offer amendments. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that Democrats exempt unions from some of the most damaging provisions of the bill. It is imperative that we address the mental health crisis that is plaguing our society, but we should do that by ensuring access to reliable, high quality, and affordable mental health services. Could I have 30 more seconds? Uh, yield the gentleman 30 more seconds, Mr. Chairman. No. Mr. Chair, I emphasize, it is imperative that we address the mental health crisis that is plaguing our society. We all agree here in the House on that, but we should do that by ensuring access to reliable, high quality and affordable mental health services, not by punishing employers with undue litigation for offering these benefits to our workers. I remain committed to finding solutions to combat the mental health problem in this country, uh, especially our youth. It is my hope that in the future that House, as, uh, as my uh, rank, uh, chairman said, that House Demo Democrats will work in a bipartisan manner to address this crisis rather than bringing damaging legislation such as H.R. 7780 to the floor, and I Dennis yield back. Murray.